guys! So, I'm back with another video. And wala na naman akong mata dito kasi hindi ko na naman na-trim yung bangs ko, guys. My goodness. Anyway, so it's another Make Archive video. And this time, I'm going to be showcasing my favorite podcasts. So, I'm not really a podcast person. But I do enjoy them so much. Lalo na ngayong quarantine. I just find myself parang looking for... Oh, sad. Looking for a kausap. <laughs> Nagahanap lang ako ng kausap, so what I love about podcasts is I learn a lot and it's like I'm talking to people. So, yeah. <laughs> so, actually, I like listening to podcasts when I'm commuting to work, to and from work. Kasi wala lang, it's entertaining. Anong haba kasi ng commute time ko. Thank you, Philippines. Anyway, <laughs> um, yun. So yeah, I'm having some commute time because so I like listening to podcasts. And what really got me into podcasts is Wake Up with Jim and Sab. So I'm a huge fan of Sab Magalona. Um, ever since blog blogger days niya, spell Sab because it's her blog. And ayon dun ko siya na discover, na discover. Masa dun ka dun na kana ng fan niya. And then she started the YouTube channel. And then doon siya nag Doon nagsimula yung Wake Up With Jim and Sab. So, para siyang segment sa YouTube niya. Pero, hindi nila tinuloy sa YouTube. Ginawa nila yung podcast. That was in 2018. So, doon ako nagsimula yung matuto magmakinig. Anyway, so yun. Um, Wake Up With Jim and Sab is basically a podcast where Jim and Sab, they're a couple now, talk about anything and everything under the sun. And, Grabe, sobrang funny kasi ng humor na lang dalawa. And sobrang nakaka-relate ako sa kanila kasi um, they, they both graduated from Ateneo, which is where I also graduated. So, yung mga inside jokes medyo nagagets ko. Yung mga... Basta sobrang funny kasi ng experiences nila. Especially before, when they talk about their... When they share stories about their college days, about their past, about anything talaga. And what I also like about them is that we share the same values. So, pag nag sila about the government, I feel the same way. <laughs> so, yun. Um, they're the... Oh, basta super recommended talaga. They're so funny. And also, the Wake Up With Jim and Sab community is super fun. And dami kasi like inside jokes dun sa podcast na yun. Tapos, may Facebook group kasi sila. Tapos, yun, I'm part of that. One of the OG members. <laughs> and, yun, sobrang fun lang talaga. They're very nice. Anyway, so yun, that's the first podcast. And then, the second podcast that got me into podcasting, wait, listening to podcast is The Eavesdrop. So, <laughs> it's actually a very tita podcast. It started, um, I found out about it because I'm a big fan of Delamar Arias. So, Delamar is one half of Chico and Delamar from The Morning Rush, which I listened to ever since grade school. As in grade 2, pa lang ata, nakikinig na ako ng The Morning Rush. Tapos, ang dami nang nangyari. Nagkaroon ng Gino, nagkaroon ng Bea Fabregas. And personally, that was my favorite era sa Morning Rush when it was the four of them. Chico, Delamar, Gino, and Bea. And then, eventually, nag-break apart na <laughs> So, si Delamar, I just really love her brain. Siguro, if there's a role model that I could point towards, it's really her. Delamar Arias. So, yun. Ang dami kong pa-backstory. But the bottom line is, Delamar started a podcast with other RX graduates. So, <laughs> si Monica Francesca and Jelly Victor. Tapos yung producer nila is Jude Rocha. So, like, they're really good known um, radio people. And, grabe, ang dami kong natututunan din sa podcast nila. Kasi, they're so much older than me. They're moms already. And, they talk about their experiences as women, as wives, as moms, as everything. Masa, they talk a lot about healing too. They invite guests, professionals who can talk about certain topics like yun nga, healing, um, etc. My most, yung mga notable um, episodes na is one where they had Chico and where Delamar revealed also 
how they're not really as close as they used to anymore. And also, recently, they did an episode with Boy Abunda. And yun, sobrang cerebral. Sobrang, alam mo yung parang bigla kang tumalino. Parang ganun yung effect niya. Kasi sobrang ganda talaga ng episode na yun. And yeah, it's really a must. Must listen to. If you want to grow. I really grew a lot from their um, podcast. Sobrang love them. Next naman, um, wait. So, yung other podcasts, I really just started listening ngayong quarantine. Kasi pampatulog ko. <laughs> so, ang daming podcasts actually on sleeping. Pero hindi sila nag-work for me. Kasi gusto ko yung parang nag-chichikahan yung background music ko para makatulog ako. And, the, yung pinakasuki ko is the Linya Linya show. So, ito, connected na naman to kay Jim and Sab. Um, kasi si Jim, he's co-owning Linya Linya, one of the shirt companies. Basta they sell shirts and yung mga witty stuff. This co-owner niya si Ali Sangalang who is the um, host for the Linya Linya show. And much like other podcasts, it's really about certain topics. He likes to invite guests. Yun yung pinaka, siguro yun yung main thing na ginagawa niya sa podcast niya. He invites a lot of guests. And hindi siya super favorite ko personally kasi hindi ako hindi lahat ng topics and ng guest niya parang vibe ko. Tapos iba rin kasi yung humor. So, yun. Pero, pinaka-favorite episode ko from them was the one he did with Sab Ong Kiko, which is, who is an alumni? Alumnus? I'm not sure. Who is someone from Teach for the Philippines. So, ang dami ko natutunan from her and I also have a personal connection to Teach for the Philippines. Kaya yun. Super love that episode. And, yeah! Pampatulog ko siya, pero check him out. Feeling ko naman madami kang matututulog from him. <laughs> Yun. And then, last na dito sa connection with Jim and Sam. Kasi si Jim, he branched out and did a podcast called Finding Happy with Happy Dad. So, ito naman, puro adulting issues yung pinag-uusapan niya dito. So, he shares a lot about his past experiences as a fresh grad, yung mga different trabaho, <laughs> different careers that he got into until he started his own linya linya. So yun, um, he also takes, parang, he also gives advice to people who send him email regarding yun nga, career advice. Parang, basically finding happy kasi I feel like everyone's goal naman talaga in life is to be happy. So yun, I can personally relate a lot kasi I'm at that stage in my life where I'm just finding out what I want to do with my life. So yeah, I really love and Jim talaga has medyo same talaga kami ng point of view in life. Same kami mag-isip. Kaya I enjoy listening to him. There. And then, ano pa ba? Last two podcasts. So first is Behind Relationship Goals by Megan Young and Mikael Daez. Ito naman yung mga hindi siya talaga cerebral. Para lang siyang just, you know, I just like listening and finding out how other people do their uh, how people work in their within their relationship but behind relationship goals basically they talk about their relationship especially as a newlywed couple how they survive in quarantine living together and their relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend lasted for so many years it's parang 10 years na ata sila ngayon so yun I'm interested in how other couples do coupling. Does that make sense? <laughs> Basta yun. Fun lang to learn more about them. Na, na, I found them from YouTube actually. Kasi pinapost nila sa YouTube yung podcast nila. So may video version. Pero mas nagle-listen na lang ako kasi I like listening better than the video. Kasi yung attention span ko hindi kayang manood ng video ng dalawang taong nagsasalita lang. So yeah. And then lastly is ito recent lang silang gumawa ng podcast. It's Ang Walang Kwentang Podcast by Antoinette Hadaone and Juan Miguel Severo. Yung talaga, oh my god, super funny. Kasi most, if, if you would notice, most of the podcasts that I listen to, medyo upper class yung mga hosts. Ito, middle class, so parang mas relate yung mga jokes, mas, mas kanto. Alam mo yun, talagang sobrang funny. No, basta yun. <laughs> Sobrang funny nila. 
their stories and hindi wala silang hiya <laughs> wala silang hiya they really share everything and anything they can share and they're super funny and yung topics din nila hindi siya yung usual mo na quarantine or adulting or all that it's super random like they talk about the filipino language they talk about love experiences experiences ng drunk sila before um ano pa ba basta marami and hindi siya yung usual mo talaga na content so sobrang na-enjoy ko siya favorite ko tong pakinggan pag nag-workout kasi yung pag tumatawa ka diba na-workout din yung abs mo <laughs> so yun sobrang funny talaga nito and i really really enjoy listening to them so there actually that's all my favorite podcasts as of the moment and I'm glad how quarantine really pushed people to try this out. And I'm going to start ng sarili na ng podcasts. And I've tried listening to some, although hindi ko sila super favorite. Ito talaga yung super, super recommended and super, super, super. Ilo best kasi na na naman. Masa ito yung super favorite ko. So, if I'm going to rank them, I cannot rank them. <laughs> they all serve a different purposes in my life. Pero. Siguro yung one yung mga nilo look forward ko talaga is wake up with Jim and Sab and the eavesdrop yung mga OG yun talaga yung lagi kong parang priority to listen to tapos yung pinaka least priority is yung linya linya and then behind relationship goals kasi hindi naman siya super I mean personally I don't learn a lot but I do like Parang nakikichismis na ako pa. Sis, kung sa may relationship niya, parang ganun. <laughs> so, yun. And then, yung mga middle is, ang walang kwenta ng podcast, pero sobrang funny talaga nun. And behind, ay, joke. Um, finding happy with happy dad. So, basically, podcasts, kaya rin naman to naging part ng Mika Archive. <laughs> Kasi, podcasts are really a big part of my life. And, pampatulog ko nga siya. Ang dami ko natututunan sa kanya. Kasi, honestly, I'm not of I'm not fond of learning in the classroom. Ayo ko yung mga ganun. Gusto ko yung casual lang tapos oy, may napulot kang biglang new lesson in life that you can apply. But par, yun yung favorite way of learning ko para siyang serendipitous. Serendi, para siyang serendipitous. Tama ba? Serendipity, serendipitous. Yeah. Yung bigla ka na lang makaka-learn ng something new that you can apply to your life. So that's the, that's my learning style and I really learn a lot from these podcasts. So brang dami. If you would notice, poor local din yung mga pinapakinggan ko. Kasi I'm one thing I really noticed about myself is that I like to consume media that is close to home. So YouTube, um, podcasts, nito ba? Music. I like better if Filipino. Kasi mas nakaka-relate ako sa mga pinag-uusapan nila. Kasi parang masyadong distant for me yung mga foreigner. Parang hindi ko sila mag -gets. Although, what's good about that naman is that you learn about other cultures. Pero personally, mas preferred ko talaga ito. Yung mga local lang. So, yeah. Mas, yeah. Yun lang. I have nothing else to say. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try to listen to some of those podcasts that I mentioned. And yeah, that's assuming people are actually watching these videos. Oh my. <laughs> so yeah, thank you and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!